Hey YouTube, this is Mario Uno4. Um, I was thinking about making a new RC vehicle. Last summer I made a RC boat and it was from a RC helicopter I had years, years, years ago and it just it broke and didn't really work. It was a funny story of that, but I'm not gonna tell you what of how it broke. But anyway, here's the controller. So simple little controller and it used to have an antenna. I put it somewhere for spares. But the really thing I had hated about this helicopter is that you had the controller, you had the helicopter, but then you had this like really huge charger. And it was just oh, I didn't like it. It was too big, and you, you had to turn it on in order to fly the helicopter. It was just stupid. But it was it was a pretty big helicopter, bigger than this one. This one's a Protocol P series. It's pretty cool. I got it for my birthday. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, this controller was from a New Bright RC vehicle. A little truck is like this tall. It was, you know, pretty small. It was a fun little thing, but after all, you know, I thought I have enough RC vehicles. I mean, I got, I got this. I mean, this is pretty good. It's way bigger, and you know, it's more fun. So I took it apart a long time ago, and I just kept the controller. Because it'd be useful, and I guess yeah, I was right. So it's not proportional control, but it does the job. It does the job. Um, onto this. This battery, what I used it on this, and I had a circuit board for that from the RC helicopter. That was from this. And the battery is from a dollar store um, headlamp. Like you put the strap on your head, and then there's a light in front. And then you slip slide the battery, and there's a button. Um, I soldered it on to the circuit board, and I thought they'd be pretty handy, because, you know, once this, this circuit board's, you know, on there, I can pull this up and change the batteries. Um, this circuit board is from another new bright, uh, it's from, like, a little drifter. It didn't really drift at all, it just did, like, little burnouts, like every vehicle does, if it doesn't have enough traction. I mean, like, this does it in the snow, or even on, um... Even on the roads sometimes, like if you're, if it's a little wet, but it, it wasn't a drifter at all really. You could sort of drift it, but barely. So I took that apart too, and it kind of, it was pretty fast, but that's what this is from. And this is from my Ignite RC helicopter, uh, Falcon Flyer. Can you get back up there? Um, and uh, how that broke is, you know... I got this, so I thought, you know, maybe it's, you know, I don't really need that anymore. But, um, me and my buddy are outside, and it's, um, infrared, so when you're out in sunlight, it does not work at all. Just lose the signal and goes wherever it pleases. But it's really fun at night, and you can do anything with it at night. It's really cool. Especially if, like, the road's wet, and, you know, it shines, the lights on the helicopter. So we, we flew it in the air, and all the balancers just broke off from like really 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 high so it's a pretty tough copter so I decided to take it apart and there's two of these motors and this was from a really shitty air hogs I had it was my second helicopter ever I bought with my own money and it was air hogs it was just crappy like I got to go forwards four times and I kept trying to you know change the whatever it's called the trim and everything it just wouldn't work so I took it apart because it had good lights on it so, uh, this is from the back of it. It's a spare. Uh, it's probably that that's in the back that helps it steer. I mean, no, no, we go forwards and backwards. And, uh, I just switched it around so I could put it like this. So I have enough, enough like, more room in the back for steering. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet, but, you know, I'm getting there. And the bottom was from a car's... Uh, I've had it for years. I just never used it. You see, like it holds cards or something. It's like a uh, like goldfish or something. And I just, I just didn't have it. I wanted to get rid of it, so I'm gonna use the bottom or the cover for the bottom of the boat. Now this thing does not float at all. It's like a big piece of shit. It just does not float. So uh, I'm gonna put styrofoam or like a thin very thin piece on the bottom so it'll float 
And I might do the same thing that I did to here, because chances are this thing's gonna tip over. I mean, this thing tipped over, no matter how good you balance, no matter how good at all, it would just tip over. So, what I did is I took, I took a dowel, or not a dowel, a skewer, whatever you call it, for whatever, uh, whatever, and I just poked it through and put these two pieces of foam on the sides so it does not flip no matter what. You, like, you can push it, of course, you know, eventually, but, oops. And, you know, it just would not flip. So that's probably what I have to do this, like, drill a hole. I have a metal right here somewhere. Put it through, and then probably use star foam, of course. And then maybe cover it, cover it or something, make it look better than that. But yeah. Um, so yeah. It's uh, pretty much it. I gave some info on this since I never did a review. Um, it went about this fast. It was like, the colors aren't that good. It was from a, another, um, what is it called again? Blade Runner, the, um, Jet. Um, it was a little RC Jet, and it was pretty, it was pretty fun. And, uh, well, I was the first one to get flying really great. We flew it in the wind against one, so it would, like, go up really fast. And I did, like, little figure eights and stuff with it. It was the first time flying an RC plane. I was doing pretty good. And, well, let's just say I couldn't, it was so far away, couldn't tell where it went, and it flew away over there. Like, you could not see it, but it was on this side of the building. That was, so, anyway. Um, so, yeah, and that's where these came from, but this one is much better. I'll do a little run for you. All right. So, yeah, the little controller, I'm going to start on here. So this would be on the top, like this. So let's go forwards. And backwards. See, the reason why it sounds like that is because there's not, you know, the blades aren't, you know, turn that direction to push wind. So it's just losing a lot of, it's just basically wasting energy. All that force is just, you know, not being used. But this way, and these batteries were somewhat fully charged, but if I use like alkaline batteries or whatever, it should, you know, have better performance. So yeah, um, I'll do another update on this when I probably get it near done or be at least be able to get it in the water and going. So, if you have any questions about anything, just uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.